In this video, let's see how to parameterize Jenkins pipeline jobs. By parameterizing Jenkins pipeline jobs or any Jenkins freestyle jobs, it gives an option for us to pass different parameters to the same job and we can reuse them. That's the whole idea behind having parameterized jobs. Let's see the implementation of that using Jenkins pipeline scripts. Let's get into Jenkins and create a new job for this demo. I'm calling it as parameterized builds. Select pipeline option, say OK. Get into pipeline. Let's go and generate a script from pipeline syntax generator. Let's search for properties. And select this project is parameterized. We can add parameters. We have different parameter types. I'm going with choice parameter. I want to put a choice of selecting branches. Let's name this. And I want to put multiple choices. One is master. The other one is feature one and feature two. Give a description as well saying select the branch to build. And generate the pipeline script. So let's copy this and put it in the Jenkins job. So for demo purpose, I'm adding simple stages here. Let's say it is SEM checkout. I want to print a message saying we are pulling changes from the branch selected by the user at runtime. To access parameters passed by the user at runtime, we have to use interpolation and we have to specify params dot the parameter name defined in the parameter that we have given it as a branch. Name of the parameter is branch, so I'm using that name in this case. I want to check out the branch selected by the user via parameters and build it. And the branch name is right. Again, I'm using interpolation for get the value passed as a parameter. Right. So using this parameters, which is a built in object, we are accessing the parameters based on the parameter name. Save this guy. And we'll see now there is no option saying build with parameters. It comes only after you run this job first time. It got failed. Let's see why it got failed. Okay, it's expecting a string, but we are passing it as a array list. Go back to configuration. So this one, we are passing it as a array list, but they are expecting this one as a string. Let's update it. Right. So we need to pass these three values as a choices. And it should be via single string. For that, I'm using slash n. After master, it's a new line followed by feature one. After this, again, I want to put slash n. So this right at runtime puts the values into multiple lines saying master, then feature one and feature two. Save this and build now. Something went wrong again. Let's see what is the issue. Failed to fetch from. Okay. I think the URL is syntactically incorrect. Let's go back and change it. Configure. So go to pipeline. So it should be slash slash github.com. And even this one is not our application. That should be my app instead of my web. Okay, let's try now. See now after running this job first time, those values are updated to this job and we get option saying build with parameters. So see, we gave three options there. Master, feature one, feature two and so on. I'm going with master and build. Okay, it says pulling changes from branch master and it cloned successfully. 
So we can run this job right with different parameters now. I can say feature one or feature two and so on. So it's getting changes from feature one and it's building it. Yeah, that is how we configure parameterized builds in Jenkins pipeline scripts.